Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I want to show you how you can upgrade your Nibra Minor SD card um, to a bigger size and also a faster reading and write speed. Um, this is essential when you want your Minor to run in just perfect. Um, but also, it's very nice to have a bigger SD card because it will have to erase data less frequently. Now this will be obsolete when the light hotspots roll out, but I did have a um, SD card laying around and I thought I would just do it. It was a brand new SD card. Um, I chose a ScanDisk, SanDisk um, A2, so it has good speed, um, Pro Extreme or Extreme Pro, whatever it's called. Um, and um, I chose 128 gigabytes, so it's quite large. Um, but a good thing is, even if you're not making this upgrade, please make a backup of your current EMC card. Uh, EMMC card because if it dies your miner is basically just a brick like there's nothing you can do about it There's no recovery um, So um, once you've made a backup um, then you can follow this video and I will show you how you can repartition the um, sizes um, on the SD card to make sure that it shows up in the deeper dashboard as using 120 gigabytes um, So yeah, uh, let's get to it so once you have uh, put in your SD card into your computer, you can go ahead and open the program called the Lena Etcher. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can go ahead and download it. Just Google Lena Etcher and you should be able to find it. And once you have opened that and the SD card is in and you have your backup, I have mine right here, you want to uh, go ahead and press uh, flash from file. Once you do that, you want to go into desktop and you want to find your um, Backup, so mine is this one, backup.img. And then you want to select your target, mine is the, the 128 gigabytes uh, disk. And I'm going to select that and I'm going to press flash. So let's go ahead and wait for that to be done with. Oh, and you might just have to enter your password. I will just do that. Right, so as you can see here, we are now flashing. It has extremely high. Uh, write speeds because it's such a good uh, card but uh, yeah let's just uh, let this run through and uh, we'll see when it's done all right so now that the flash is completed we can go ahead and close down Belena Etcher just do that and we can close this down now what you need to do now is you need to open a Linux system um, Linux systems are quite easy to have. You can just get a USB drive with a Linux installed and you can open it on your computer. I do have a Linux installed uh, with Parallels on this computer. So I can just uh, directly boot up uh, Linux right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, later. Oh, I have five days left, I need to renew it, that's important. But we can go ahead and open this. This is just Ubuntu. And we need a program called Departed. So we need to actually install Departed on Ubuntu. You can do that with the commands. I will just use this. And let's open Ubuntu. Um, software updater, nope. We need to open the terminal. You can just open the terminal right here. Copy in the uh, thing that you just, oh, that doesn't work. Let me just see what it says. It says sudo apt install departed. So we're gonna do sudo apt install departed. And then you enter your password. And you just enter the correct password if I knew how to do that. There we go. And I want to continue. And it's installing to part it. Okay. So now it should be installed. Let's see if it is showing up. It is. So you open to part it. Uh, you might want to enter your password really quick. I'm just gonna, before I launch it, I'm just gonna make sure that the SD card actually opens up inside the Ubuntu. Let's see if we can actually find it. 
Okay, so here it is, as you can see. The recent boot and recent data is all here. I'm gonna go ahead and then launch Gparted. Enter the password. And let's see if we can actually find the SD card now. So it's the dev.sdc on my system. And you can see it right here. There's all these kinds of big, big, big chunks and different sectors and everything. But the thing that you need to pay attention to is the, um, I will show you. Okay, so now that you can see your all your data inside of the SD card, what you want to do is you want to find the extended one. For me, it's the SDC4, which has 28 out of, no, which has a size of 28 gigabytes. You want to right click that one and you want to resize slash move. And you want to move this cursor all the way over here. And you can see that the new size would be 121 gigabytes. You want to press resize and move. Once you've done that, it's just like registered the commando. It hasn't actually done it. So you need to press up here in the apply all operations. So when I press here, I'm applying and it's closed. And then this new card, now this has, as you can see, 118 gigabytes. That means that it actually has the size that you wanna be looking for. Um, now you can go ahead and close down Gparted. You can close down this. You can pull out your SD card and you can actually turn off your computer. And uh, it's time to put the SD card into the miner. Uh, so I'll do that now. All right, so that was the upgrade video. Um, one thing you need to keep in mind is it can take a few hours with the new SD card to actually catch up and resync to the blockchain. So if it doesn't work right away, please give it like two, three hours maybe, depending on your internet speed. Um, but this way you should have a Nibra miner that doesn't have to erase data as quickly um, and as often. That way it will be able to mine for a longer time before it has to do a new um, blockchain sync. Um, so this should give you maybe, I don't know, a little bit more earnings but probably not it's just going to be a lot more stable basically um so thank you so much for watching if you would like to see a video um like this or anything else please subscribe give it a like and uh, nevertheless have a great day